Welcome to Pastor's Chat. What a joy again to share from Romans chapter 15. We're getting to the end of the book of Romans. I'm not even sure where we're going to go from here, but I'm looking forward to whatever it is because as I've opened up the Word of God in the mornings and looked at these passages of Scripture, my heart's been blessed and just filled overflowing and just can't wait to share with you what God's speaking to me about through His Word to help us understand what an awesome God we have. You know, there's a world today that saying, there is no God. Where is He? With all the problems and difficulties and troubles that this world is in and the division and the strife and all the pain and suffering that is going on in the world. So many people, so many things happening. COVID-19, all the division politically, etc. in America today, socially, culturally. And yet, I am telling you, my friend, God has never changed. He's still on His throne. He is still able and willing to help anyone who calls on His name. I encourage you today to trust Him, to believe Him. Yes, a world that says there is no God because they are not looking for Him in the right places, my friend. They're not looking for Him in the right places. You know where you find something? You find something usually where you lost it and where it is. And I can tell you where God is. God is sitting on His throne in heaven. He is mighty. He is sovereign. He is awesome. He is holy. He is just. He is righteous. And you can find God in His Word, the Holy Word. You can find God in creation if you'll look for Him there. I mean every flower and every cloud and every breeze every blade of grass. Oh, this is a beautiful time of the year. The flowers are blooming. The trees are coming out. The foliage is coming. I'm telling you, we see God in everything if you're looking for Him. If you're not looking for Him, usually it means you don't want Him to find you either in your sin and have to admit that you're a sinner. I don't know why I got off on all that because we're on Romans 15, and I wanted to talk about that last verse, uh, uh, this section where we're finding, as Paul concludes the book and talks about how that we all have a ministry. He uses this word ministry over and over again in the last couple chapters here. He talks about first how Christ became a servant to the circumcised, that the promises uh, that he made to the patriarchs might be fulfilled. And he quotes the Old Testament scriptures. And then as he finishes this section about Christ being the servant, he says in verse 13, may the God of hope, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Can I read that again? Listen, may the God of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. What a powerful exhortation, reminder that our God is the God of hope. No God, no hope. God of the Bible, God of creation, God of eternity past, Elohim God, He is the God of hope. Now, hope is for those who feel hopeless, helpless, who feel like there's no future, who emotionally are beaten down and feel like no one cares about them. And they come to a place where they want to take their life. My friend, maybe you are in that condition today. God is the God of hope. Look for Him today. He loves you. He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. That's what this passage is about. Christ became the servant. Christ went to a cross. He became obedient even to the death of the cross. God now has highly exalted Him. And today, He will save anyone who calls on His name. He is the God of hope. And it says He will fill you with all joy and peace in believing. When you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you find these three things, hope, you find peace, and you find joy. Joy is in the midst of circumstances, in the midst of people hating your guts. My friend, joy is an inward peace that God gives you despite what's going on around you. You choose to have this joy because you believe, you believe in God. You believe in who He is. And then by the power of the Holy Spirit, not only just by believing, but now as you believe by the power, the energy, the working of the Holy Spirit, the authority of the Holy Spirit, He says, you may abound in hope. And so joy and peace and then this abounding hope that you have because you believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, today I encourage you to do that. You have a wonderful day and a great week for the glory of God. Amen.